probably the most requested, most suggested build of all time on my channel is a cat cafe. I don't know what it is about them, but these cat cafes have like a hold on all of you because no matter what I'm building, what I'm doing, half of my Twitch chat is like, you should build a cat cafe instead. You are obsessed with this idea for some reason, and so today we are building a cat cafe in The Sims 4. Now the concept is pretty simple. Basically this lot is a cafe from Get Together, so your Sims can come here, they can get some coffee and some snacks or whatever, but it also has the cat hangout lot trait from Cats and Dogs, and so the Sims that come here will bring their cats and also some cats can kind of just wander around the lot and show up. It also does function, like when I was playtesting this, there was usually like four or five cats in here at a time, and it's not a very big lot, so that actually seems like a lot of cats. They were like stepping all over the tables, they were getting into people's food, it was, it was fantastic. Now I don't really know what it is about cat cafes in The Sims that have like really gotten into people's heads, but I do know they're pretty popular in real life. I've never actually been to one, so I'm kind of just going off of what I've heard, but basically oftentimes in real life, this kind of thing will exist. Same thing, you can go there, get some coffee, get some food, but you can also play with cats. And I think most of the time, a lot of the cats are available for adoption, like they work with local shelters and stuff. So for example, the cat cafes that I've seen in Orlando work with a local cat shelter, and they're basically like fostering a bunch of the cats, and when you go to the cat cafe, you can also potentially adopt the cats that you're seeing there. So it seems like a pretty cool concept and kind of a big win, but again, I've never actually been to one in real life, I, I just, you know, have heard about them and stuff. This is one of those things in The Sims that is genuinely confusing to me. Like, I don't know how it became such a thing in my community to request this so often, but there's a few things like this, like the cat cafe, bookcase doors, the cupcake machine, also glass roofs that have become like kind of a meme in my community on Twitch and how people will just constantly suggest them even in the most out of place times. Like in this build, so many people were like, you should have put a bookcase door in that. You should add a bookcase door. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe I'm just boring, but like, where is there space for a bookcase door in a build like this one. It's not very large. Like, I too love the idea of a secret room. I can get behind the idea of a secret room. But like, where are you gonna hide a secret room in this? There's no space. And of course, now that I'm telling you about this in a video, I'm gonna get even more comments like it, but it's just kind of funny. I think you're gonna like this build though. I will say I used a lot of packs in this one. For that, I sincerely apologize, but it turned out really, really cute. You can see I'm already starting off with like a kit flooring, so we're off to a bad start pack-wise. But the whole place is like black, white, and pink inspired essentially, and I love all of the pink accents. I think it turned out so cute. I won't lie, most of that color scheme inspiration did come from that giant cat sign that I hung up, and that's okay. You know what? Sometimes you find one item in The Sims and you're like, yes, this is the item. This is the whole build. Like, this is the inspiration for the entire place, and I think it worked out. Also, this is kind of in a weird location, so you might be thinking, like, where, what lot is this? <laughs> like, what have you done? So this is actually in Brindleton Bay. It's on that, like, dock area in Brindleton Bay, and the lot that I replaced is actually actually the one that that cat lady Sim used to live on. If you know who Katarina Lynx is from Cats and Dogs, this is where she used to live. And I kicked her out, bullos the lot, and then built this instead. So sorry to her, my bad, I guess. Also, a lot of people in my Twitch chat were very annoyed that I had like the brick flooring instead of like the wooden deck. But the problem is we don't have wood that matches the like wooden deck that surrounds this. So I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to put for the flooring in the outside. I kind of just winged it. I think it turned out all right, but I understand and they were also annoyed that it was like floating and I was planting trees and stuff on it because if this is actually on the the dock and it's like actually like a decking sort of space. How do you have tree roots? I don't know, but that's not my problem. I think it looks cute, so <laughs> I kept it. All right, and while we're sitting here kind of finishing up the exterior, I wanted to tell you about something kind of cool that I've been working on. A few months ago, I got invited to be a judge on this new YouTube gaming competition show called Uture that my friend Allie was making. I know, me being a judge. I don't know why they picked me. It's very confusing. They literally have people with like 20 million YouTube subs being judges on this and then me. <laughs> How does that line up? I don't know. But essentially each episode, they've got like four YouTubers on as judges for like this YouTube gaming competition. And they've got a bunch of contestants that are like making gaming videos to enter into it. And the first episode that I actually judged came out yesterday. So if you want to watch that, I'll link it down below. They were all playing Fall Guys and making Fall Guys videos. And I think you'll actually really enjoy it. Even if you don't play Fall Guys or you haven't seen it. Fall Guys is like a kind of funny contest game, basically. In it, you play as this like little bean and you're like running to do like a obstacle course essentially, but you're playing against
against like 50 other people. It makes for some really funny clips and like reaction content and stuff. You might have seen it before, but I think you'll like it. So I'll link that video down below with the judging. By the way, on this show, the contestants are competing to win $100,000. I know this is just like one episode that I judge, but like the final prize at the very end is $100,000. Again, why, how, in what world have I been asked to be a part of this in any capacity? Like, what qualifications do I have <laughs> to be judging something like that? I don't know, but it was really fun and I'm very grateful for the opportunity. So, like I said, I'll link that for you down below. Now, I feel like at this point, I should probably explain to you the, the other reason, the real reason that I built this cat cafe, but I must say, this is absolutely ridiculous and it makes no sense. So, don't say I didn't warn you, but you might notice the lot name is called Cosmo's Cat Cafe. And you might be thinking to yourself, Kay Kayla, who's Cosmo? Like, why? What's up with that? Who's Cosmo? Why does he have a cat cafe? Okay, so to explain this story, we have to go back in time a little bit. A couple months ago, before the werewolf pack came out for The Sims 4, I was doing some streams where I was playing with, like, the existing occult types. I made a household with a spellcaster, a vampire, and a cat. The cat is an outlier in this. But basically, I wanted to see the spellcasters and the vampires again and kind of, like, refresh my memory before the new werewolf pack came out and, like, see what those packs came with and how they worked and all of that just to kind of have a, a comparison for werewolves. So I made my spellcaster Sim, I made them have a best friend, a vampire, and we kind of were joking on stream about how like, oh maybe they're in like a bowling league together and that's how they became friends. I don't know, it's bizarre. Well I had named my vampire Wanda, and then I start making them a cat just to have like another Sim in the household, and we're like, oh my god, let's call the cat Cosmo, because it kind of works, it's like spacey, I don't know, it's interesting. And then, of course, we had Cosmo and Wanda, and we started joking about like how these sims might be related to each other. I know in real life, well I guess not in real life, but in the Fairly Odd Parents, Cosmo and Wanda are not siblings. Um, in fact, they're married. But in my sims game, we decided, okay, maybe Wanda the vampire and Cosmo the cat are, are siblings. <laughs> they, they were brother and sister. But that poses the question, like why is Cosmo a cat? So we got to thinking and we decided that, so we had this spellcaster sim, right? And the spellcaster sim, their name is Sterling, and the cat, Cosmo, were like best friends. All three of these Sims were in the bowling league together, and one day, Sterling and Cosmo were kind of goofing off, and they thought, hmm, let's try and do a spell and see if we can turn Cosmo to be immortal. Well, of course, that spell backfired, and instead turned Cosmo into a cat. And that is the story of how uh, Cosmo, Wanda, and Sterling... <laughs> <laughs> the vampire, the spellcaster, and the cat all live together, and that is why this lot is called Cosmo's Cat Cafe, because we felt bad that Cosmo got turned into a cat, so we built him a new lot for him to like, you know, have a hobby or something. This is obviously ridiculous. This is not a real gameplay mechanic in The Sims 4. It is purely made up. <laughs> and now that I'm telling this to you out loud and like revisiting this story, this is one of those things where when you do stuff on stream, the chat eggs you on, it just, it, it really spirals, okay? <laughs> this is either a really good promo for my Twitch stream and you're like, wow, I don't want to miss that next time I should come by. Or it's like a complete deterrent. You're like, I never want to see that. I will never follow her on Twitch. I don't want to be involved in that. Leave me out of that. But if you do want to watch my Twitch streams, for example, we built this lot live on Twitch. We played with Cosmo, Wanda, and Sterling live on Twitch. So if you want to watch those sort of things, my Twitch name is just twitch.tv forward slash LilSimsy. I think you would enjoy my streams. And I play The Sims literally like every single day on Twitch for hours. So if you're into that kind of thing, you might like it. So now we're a lot farther into the build. You can see that a lot of progress has been made. This lot is not very big, so there's not like a ton of space to fill on the inside. Basically, we've got like a little cafe section in the back corner. There's a bathroom off to the side. And then we've got some tables, we've got some cat trees, there's like a little couch sort of sitting area. I was trying to leave like relatively medium amounts of open space in here because I know from gameplay, like when I've actually played in cafe lots, the sims kind of tend to crowd around like right in front of the actual cafe section, sort of like in line to order and like to wait for their food. But it does tend to be a little crowded there. So I wanted to leave some open space in front of it so the sims could actually stand somewhere. Other gameplay things, I put like some pet bowls and some cat toys just around to see if they would actually use those things. I wasn't sure. There's also a litter box and there's a cat door into the bathroom so that the cats can use it too. And one thing that I was so sad about that I really wanted to work that didn't end up working out, I really wanted to put that pet vending machine that came with cats and dogs because you know how when you go to the vet in cats and dogs you can buy like pet treats and things and there's like some regular ones but also some very useful ones like the ones that make your pet that's sick not sick anymore and the ones that make them not age and stuff like that. I really wanted to have one of those pet vending 
vending machines here on this lot, but you can't stock them. I tried literally everything. They don't come automatically stocked. You can stock them yourself when you're running a vet business, like you can open it and put treats in it. But I think because nobody owns the cafe lot, you can't stock it. I had like Sims travel here. I had treats in my inventory. I couldn't put them in. Like I literally tried to get them off the gallery. Like a stocked one off the gallery. It didn't work. Like I just, I couldn't put a stocked pet vending machine on this lot. And I really did try. So there's a regular vending machine here, disappointingly, but I, I couldn't get the pet one to work, unfortunately. There's so many weird little quirks about this game. Like I've never really tried to put that pet vending machine off of a vet lot, but this is like the perfect time to have one. My cat cafe would have been the perfect spot for one of those, but no, the game said no. I did do some pretend things. Like I put some cat treats on like a little back corner of the counter there and stuff just to, you know, slightly fulfill my dreams while also acknowledging that it's just not gonna work. <laughs> like it might not function, but we can just pretend. Now in my playtesting of this, I think one of the most fun parts was that the cats would walk all over literally everything. Like they've got those tables there, right? And the Sims would sit there constantly. Nobody used the tables outside. I don't know why. There's a lot of them and nobody sat at them, but they all were sitting at the ones inside and the cats would be like jumping around on the tables, but there's like food on them. So they'd be sitting there with their like, you know, pastries and the cats are just stepping all through them constantly. That is a nightmare in real life, but also very realistic. I don't know about you, I don't know about your cats, but my cat likes to be involved in everything. So if we're sitting there eating dinner, she is too. She doesn't want to eat our food, but she she will sit with us. <laughs> she will sit on us and she'll get her tail in the plate. It's actually kind of gross, but you know, she's family, so she's allowed. Now this build is just about done. We're kind of putting on some like finishing touches and stuff, just adding in some decor and little last minute details. And I think I am really proud of this one. I had a lot of fun building it and I think I've had a lot of fun playing with it too. It's nice to have like additional community lots and stuff to go visit. And this one's not very big, so I feel like it works pretty well and it feels very lively because it's sort of small. Like everybody's just in there in the main area and there's a lot of stuff going on at all times. There's like a million Sims. There's like five or six cats, which doesn't sound like a lot, but again, it's a very small space. So the five or six cats, they take up a lot of room <laughs> and they make a lot of drama basically. Also side note, I have had to record this voiceover twice because I filmed the whole thing once, but my mic was muted and I didn't notice. So I filmed myself talking the whole time, except there was no audio recorded because my mic wasn't on. Um, so that's fine. I'm not upset at all. I'm actually really glad that I got to film it twice. Um, I love doing that. I love when that happens. The only problem is that when I do this, when I have to like film it again, I forget what I said in this version versus the first version. So if I repeated myself, sincerely, I apologize. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we edit it. But <laughs> I feel like I didn't, but it's hard to say. Now with the build just about being done, I'm going to pop into the game now and I want to show you a quick tour of the finished product. It's kind of hard to see when it's like speeding around so much. So we'll open up into the real game and I'll show you around the place. So I put it here on this lot. I feel like it kind of makes sense. It's like right downtown next to the bar and stuff in Brindleton Bay. It also has the cat friendly and cat hangout lot traits, obviously, because that way we have more cats coming by. And this is the finished product. Now I was actually very proud of the exterior on this one. I even added a few details, like some little cat prints on the roof. There's obviously a lot of outdoor seating that again, for some reason, nobody uses. This sign took me so long. I had to cut it out of the speed build because I custom placed these things to like have them in the right spot because by default it slots really weird. Okay, it's only slotting onto the back, which is annoying, but you see how it slots like too high with the sign sized up and then that's too small. Oh my God, it was so annoying. So long story short, I had to custom place those. So it took ages, but overall the outside's pretty cute. There's lots of seating, lots of staircases. It's very open. And then when you come inside, you walk in through this door, there's a giant cat tree. I put some little cat decals. So it looks like there's cats playing on it. There are two tables over here. We got some shelves with a lot of little cute cat things around. We also have this little seating area. There's some lemonade on that. So if you want, you can like fill it and have your Sims drink it. This door takes you into like a little hallway where there's some extra cat food and some privacy and stuff. And then we have a human door and a cat door into the bathroom, which turned out pretty fun. I liked the wallpaper in here. It was kind of exciting. And of course there's a toilet for humans and also a toilet for cats. And then over here we have that like main cafe space where your Sim can actually order. So this does function if you want to come here and like get coffee. I will say, well, this lot functions, the cafe lot type doesn't necessarily always function. Like it's kind of buggy, not because of me, but because of the Sims. As I'm sure many of you are aware, a lot of times these restauranty type places don't always, you know, work as intended. But this one works to the best of my ability. Basically it is play tested and stuff. And of course it's also on the gallery. It's called Cosmos Cat Cafe on my page. I built it like a month ago. So you might have to scroll a little bit, but my name's just Lil Simsy on the gallery. So if you search me up, you should be able to find it pretty easily. And 
I think with that being said, I'm probably gonna end this video right here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know, should I build another cat cafe? <laughs> should I make another kind to put in a different world? You'll probably say yes. If you like Sims content, I post videos playing The Sims literally every day on YouTube. So feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I always feel like I'm not very good at building community lots. Like I just feel like it's not really my forte, but I do think I did an okay job with this one.